now with another tasty, healthy snack that the kids will love as much as the grown-ups because it's like we were saying, you don't just want to give them the cheese cubes and the grapes. No, and give that's in the like veggies, fun. like we were talking about carrots and celery sticks with yes. ranch dip. That's so boring for kids, <laughs> yeah. right? So I wanted to do a hot snack or appetizer for the kids for the holiday parties. Right. I brought this here today because all of my friends that have children say their kids gobble this up. They're obsessed. Broccoli and cheddar quinoa bites. Mm. So if you like broccoli and cheddar soup, yes. you would like the flavor of these quinoa bites. Nice. This is something that they like for after school snack too. Yeah. And what I like is they're made in mini muffin tins, so they're bite sized for little hands, right? So kids yeah. gravitate towards them and like them. But it's an adult flavor too. Oh my gosh, I'd go for I'd go in on that in a second. <laughs> and, it, and it's crispy, right? They're yeah, little, little crispy little bits around crispy. the edge. So we're gonna start with two cups of cooked quinoa. Do you see how nice and fluffy That's this beautiful. is? It's like snow. Mm -hmm. How do you get quinoa like that? Because a lot of people say to me, oh, my quinoa is all mushy or mm -hmm. wet. or, But it's kind of like cooking rice. So when you cook it, first of all, to boost the flavor a little bit, if I'm making a recipe like this, sometimes if I have vegetable or chicken broth at home, I'll cook the quinoa in that instead of water. So much better. So right away, it adds a little bit of extra flavor. Yeah. So then let's say you're simmering it for 12, 15 minutes, whatever your package says. You need to let it rest. You absolutely have to let it rest because it just did like this major cardio workout of all that simmering, right? <laughs> and now it needs to chill for a it's while. So you nap. put the lid on, put it on the stove for 10, 15 minutes at least and don't do anything. Oh, okay. okay. Then you're going to fluff it up and you have to cool it for this recipe. So don't leave it in the pot if you want to make the recipe right now. Spread okay. it out on something, a cookie sheet, put it in another bowl, a glass bowl, something that's cold. Yes. Stir it to try to cool it down. That and then it'll fair. be nice and fluffy. See, there's no clumps in this. Yeah, you just got to leave it alone. Leave yeah, it a alone. lot of us have to learn that with the rice and the quinoa, like leave it alone, it'll do its thing. Yeah, and give it some time. Give it some right? time. Don't rush cooking quinoa because right. it's better if it sits. Okay, so we got the fluffy quinoa. I'm just using white quinoa. You could use red, but I just use the white because mm -hmm. you know kids, if they see little flecks of something that's red, red I'm not eating that. This is that, weird. Right? So I just use the white. Yeah. So now we have finely chopped broccoli. Remember, this is going to be made in mini muffin tins, okay. so this all has to fit. So we don't want big chunks of anything sticking out. So this right. is really finely chopped broccoli. Nice. And then I have um, a cup of ch uh, grated cheddar. Good, and I mean, you can get as fancy as you want with the cheese, but cheddar's for good. For sure, for sure. I, uh, yeah, I would definitely use like a medium to sharp cheddar just to add a yeah. little bit more flavor. And then this is grated Parmesan. Ooh, nice. And now the very simple spices, we have dry mustard powder. Lovely. And then we have garlic powder and onion powder and a bit of salt. And, and this pepper. is pepper. And then I'm gonna add one egg, and that's gonna kind of, or actually it's two eggs. Okay. Eaten, and I, it's gonna hold it all together. Because I was kind of wondering, I'm like, it feels like it's not going to stick. The egg will make we're it work. missing the egg. The egg will make it work. Okay, so that gets mixed up, and then we've got 24 little mini muffin tins. Mm -hmm. Some people have asked me if they could just make it in a regular size muffin tin. Yeah. You can, but it, it takes a lot longer to cook because yes. it's bigger. And I find they don't hold together quite as well. But mm -hmm. I know some people have done it, but I like these because they're bite sized. Yeah, right. They're the so I don't really size. want the bigger ones. Plus, you can make a lot more when you make them. Yeah, and right? then also I discovered just through people writing to me who have made the recipe that these also freeze well because I wondered Good. if they would and I didn't try that. Yes. But I've had a lot of people say to me that they freeze these and then they can just reheat them. So see now it's going to stick together, right? Yes. The cheese is going to melt, the egg is going to firm up. Yes. So your oven's at 350. Okay. Okay. And after you put them in, you press it down. So you're kind of packing it in. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be perfect. Yeah. 350 and it's going to take, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes. And then the key is when it comes out of the oven, just like when we cook the quinoa, you got to let it sit. Yeah. About five minutes, like lasagna. You know when lasagna comes out and you let just want to eat it right now, except you have to let it rest? Right. You let these rest and then they'll pop out easily and then you can serve them warm right out of the oven. Beautiful. So I would say this is a good appetizer whether you, you've got kids or adults coming That's over. That's right. It doesn't really matter. They look fantastic. The recipe is online at, uh, at cityline.tv.